The actual flow rate is a measure of the volume of gas displaced through the inlet of a vacuum pump in a given time. Because the density of gas changes with temperature and pressure, it's valid only for the inlet conditions described. So the actual flow rate at different points of a process will be very different as temperature and pressure change. Standard flow takes that actual flow and relates it back to atmospheric conditions to give a constant throughput. Standard flow rate says, what would the volume of this sample of gas be if we increase the pressure to atmospheric and change the temperature to ambient? Take as an example a pump working at half of atmospheric pressure. The standard flow rate will be one half of the actual volumetric flow rate. Similarly, if we take a pump running at one tenth of atmosphere, the standard flow is one tenth of the actual flow. We know that PV over T is constant for a quantity of gas. So by fixing a standard value for pressure and temperature, then a perfectly leak tight system should have a constant standard volumetric throughput value at all measurement points from inlet to outlet. It's useful if we're considering multi-stage pumps or multiple pieces of process equipment operating at different pressures and different temperatures. When using standard flow rates, it's very important to check how the standard is defined on that process to be sure what pressure and temperature we are adjusting to. The normal flow is very similar to standard flow, but it's a codified SI unit with the conditions being 0 Celsius and 1013 millibar. One occasion where you will see standard flow measurement is on vacuum pumps which work very close to atmosphere on holding applications. And the reason is that the flow rate of air into the system happens through the suction nozzle at the workpiece where atmospheric air bleeds into the process. That same air travels through to the vacuum pump. So some manufacturers publish standard or normal performance figures for their pumps to indicate how much atmospheric air leakage they can handle while the pump is operating at various pressures.